Jiggy time gal and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little charms. They're about a medium size and they can be used to put on projects. And spruce up um, other ideas and things. They're made from popsicle sticks, ribbon, bling, anything from your stash. You can pull out, put on these things and make them. But we're going to be making them out of um, giant craft sticks, the big ones. And we're going to be cutting them down into one and a half inch strips by the width of the tongue depressors. And we're going to be dressing them up with ribbon, lace, bling of any kind absolutely anything if you have old jewelry that you had took it apart and used waiting for that extra special little project to come along that you could use those special things with this is it this is the project to do it on you can do it on virtually anything there's just there's a couple of froggies with some dangles there's some rick rack with some rib, um, roses and some pearls Here's some pieces of jewelry. There's just, it's just, it's endless. The possibilities and the, the things you can do with this is absolutely endless. I'm just going to show you how to wrap the ribbon. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in fast forward mode and just drag out some of my stuff from my stash and just start plugging away. I've got one, two, three, four, five crafts um, cut. I'm going to cut, um, you can get, I think it's three or four out of a stick and I'll show you how to cut the sticks and then we'll just go to it and have a blast. So let's go ahead and pull it down on the desktop and we'll show you how to cut up these popsicle sticks and then we'll get to embellishing. Okay, let me clear off my workspace here. Put it in this way. Let's get out a craft stick here. This is the giant the giant jumbo sticks, um, I got them from Walmart. You can measure with your ruler one and a half inches, but once you have one cut, you can use it as a template. I want to cut perfectly straight. And here we go. And then you just use it as a template to make your marks along your stick. And I use this because my uh, my miter shears is not working properly for some reason. Put it all the way back in the tooth of the jaw and just cut it straight across. Another cut into little one fourth or one and a half inch strips. And we have our little pieces here that we can start with. I'll be right back with the ribbons. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick you out some different color ribbon. And you're going to want to take your piece of wood and you're going to want to wrap the ribbon this way and cover all the edges on the top and the bottom. So, put a little bit of hot glue at the top here. 
smear it around so it's not a big glob. Start your ribbon. Tack it down. Go down so that all your corners are covered. Once your corners are covered, you can angle it slightly, but you don't want to angle it too much so that there's a, there's a bolt. There's a bubble. Let's go here. Make sure all the corners are covered. Once they're covered, get just more hot glue here. Smear it around. Tack down your ribbon. And cut it off. Now you're going to wrap the ribbon this way. Start here in the corner. Smear your glue around. Start your ribbon. Start to wrap it. Make sure you get all the corners wrapped. Don't let it buckle on you. If it's buckling, you're you're making your um you're spacing it out too much. Make it more shallow space. Once you have all your corners covered, spare some glue, tack it down. And cut it off. And there you have it. The wrap piece of wood. You should have no edges of the wood showing. Now if you're worried about this here popping up here like this, you can always put a little glue in there and tack it down. You can always do that. It's not necessary, but you can if you want to. Now you're going to want to do this to all your pieces of wood with whatever ribbon choice you decide to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now.
now that the tedious part is done, we can move on to the fun part, which is decorating them up. So let me clear up my workspace here, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have got all my stuff situated. I've got out all the bling that I want. I got out all the little things. I've got them all situated up here, what I want on what. So all we're going to need to do is just piece it together. I also took the time out to uh, take my crocodile and I poked a hole in the top and the bottom of each one of the pieces so that we can attach both the um, hook at the top and um, if you want to put some um, dangles at the bottom. If you don't want dangles at the bottom, you don't have to worry about putting the, um, the, the hole at the bottom, but I didn't know if I was going to do dangles on all of them or not, so I just went ahead and put the hole at the bottom and at the top. That way I can decide later what I wanted to do. So. Got the hot glue gun fired up and ready to go. And here we go with the first piece. We're going to do the white one. I
And these are the ones we made today. Now, if you want to put dangles on, I'll show you how to put dangles on, but I'm not going to put dangles on all of them because my eyesight is absolutely horrid. And it would be horrifying for me to put dangles on all of these. But I'll get the stuff together and I'll show you how to put dangles on one of them. Okay. I have my findings box in front of me. You want to take a jump ring that's large enough to accommodate what you're going to do. I don't know what size jump rings these are. And you have to bear with me because my eyesight is absolutely horrible. I have a hard time finding where these jump rings open. You can open your jump ring. And you're going to slip one end of your jump ring through your, your hoop, through your hole. And you're going to slip your, your little finding or whatever you're going to put on here, your dangle, your things facing the right direction. And you want to close your jump ring. I'm sorry, I'm not right here. Here's your little dangle. Then you want to attach another jump ring to the top. So you can attach whatever you want to put at the top, a key ring or lobster clasp or whatever it is you want to attach to the top. Grab it. And you can do that to all your all your little things. I'm not going to do it though because I'll do it if I need to do it a little at a later time. And you have all these little findings over here. These little uh gems and and little uh, do jabs, little uh, charms and dangles and things that you can add to your do a little, uh, little things with it. So that was the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed making these little, I don't know what you want to call them, little, this is my favorite. I like this one a lot. Little bear with wings. Then this is my second favorite. So, 
I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today and having fun with me. I enjoyed doing crafts with all my friends and family, and I consider you friends and family. So, thank you again. Have a nice day. Catch you on the flip side. And hey, while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Leave a link or leave a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. Let me know if I'm doing all right. And let me know what you're up to lately. Click the like button. Clicking the like button really helps my channel grow and supports me. Share the video on other social outlets, social media outlets. And click the notification bell and click all so you know when I have a new video that's uploaded or when I go live. That really helps my channel as well. So um, supporting me is a really big deal for me. Um, I'm not a very big channel this time. And it helps me to grow and reach more people on YouTube. And allows me to grow my audience. So if you would like to support me, that's the best way you can. By clicking the like button, subscribing, clicking the notification bells, and sharing my content on other social media outlets. That's the best way you can support me at this time. So I would really appreciate it if you take the time to do that. And thank you very much. And with all that being said, y'all have a wonderful night. And we'll catch you on the flip side.